Hello everybody, welcome back. These are my empties for April 2020. Again, there are not a lot of empties. I did finish some big things, but there's not a lot of empties. I, I don't know if I just have like tons of big things I'm trying to work through or what, but it feels very strange not to have a lot of items in this bag because again, I'm like just at the bottom half of the Victoria's Secret. All right, finished a 750 count pack of Q-tips. I prefer the Q-tips brand for ear cleaning. Like they're just the most solid to me. I don't want a flimsy anything near my ear. This is the Alcon Opti Free Pure Moist um, Multi-Purpose Dis Disinfecting Solution. This is my contact solution. I finally finished it. I do have another one from OptiFree. It's a different, um, a different type. Thank you, Lori. Because this one is the pure, mo pure moist, and the one I'm using now, I think, is the replenishing or something. Um, I have three hand soaps, <laughs> so that's always fun. They're all by Bath and Body Works. I, which one did I like the most? I want to say Cactus Blossom, but let's smell. Yeah, Cactus Blossom was a good one. It's, Cactus Flower Petal, Sun Kiss Coconut, and Sparkling Lemon. It was a citrus. Of course, I loved it. The sunlight and apple trees. I got more apple. But I guess it should have been more apple-y. It's just crisp apple, autumn leaves, and a creamy musk. So this was a nice scent as well. Yeah, it was more apple. It was like apple cinnamon to me. Um, and then this one is from their aromatherapy line. This it's called Sleep in Lavender and Vanilla. It's just lavender oil and vanilla absolute. Yeah, I can smell the lavender. It was not one of my favorites because I'm not crazy about lavender. But I used it. I like the foaming hand soaps. They are one of my favorite soaps. And if you have people who don't really understand how to clean up a little drop of liquid hand soap, foaming soap is going to be your friend. All right, I finished a pack of makeup remover, <laughs> remover wipes from Kroger. By the end, they were starting to dry out a little bit, so I can't remember them at the beginning, but I'm using a different pack from Kroger in the white packaging, and those are really saturated really nicely, so I really like those. Yeah, I'll have to try these again to see if I really like them, but I think the white package is my favorite of them. Let's see, I got two face masks so far right here. This one is from Emoji Nation. It is an avocado sheet mask um, it's from I guess you can buy them on the website mybeautyspot.com as well but I got mine um, I want to say for Christmas or a birthday from my mom um, from five below it was in a five pack but I enjoy them they are check me out on Instagram there is a picture of me wearing it Newly, um, let's see. This is from Kala. This is their Pure Radiance Honey Facial Sheet Mask. Pure honey extract to brighten and nourish skin to create a natural glow. It had vitamin E and collagen. It was an illuminating mask. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed both of those masks so far. Well, I think there might be other ones in here. That's why I keep saying so far. But I like honey masks because they are a natural brightening property. So. I like that. And that one was a dollar from Shop Miss A. I've been putting things that health 
wise for eternal internal purposes so these are from amazing grass these are the green superfood variety pack you got four different varieties i really like these these blend really well with whatever you're using because i've done them with water i put them in my smoothie i had the original chocolate energy lemon lime and then the detox and digest clean greens Yeah, I, I did the clean greens with just the water and it actually blended really well. Like sometimes you can taste like the after effects. You can just taste it on your tongue. I don't like that. I'm using something right now. I'll be so glad to be done with that. one. But I really like these. I would definitely look into buying because I have to set Target. I don't know if Target's, Target still sells this in store as you know a four pack to test because I know they don't sell it on their website and then Target acts like they don't sell it but they may not offer it you know online I don't know but I liked it all right I finished a pack of Swispers I don't like Swispers I don't my favorite cotton square round thing has been from Shop Miss A, their AOA, um, the square ones that come in a 40 count. Those have been my favorite. And then I like the ones from Dollar Tree. Um, this is from Ulta Beauty. This was their charcoal rubber modeling mask. It was, who makes these? They sell them at Sephora. But it's that whole rubber mask thing. This was not bad at all. I really enjoyed this. This was pretty funky cool. I think it would be a fun thing. You know. Because this is what it looks like when it's dry. And then you just peel it off from your skin. And it came off really nicely. It didn't pull or tug. But I really liked it. So I could see myself buying more kinds of rubber masks. I have a shower gel from Bath and Body Works in Champagne Toast. It is pink champagne, black currant, chambord, sparkling nectarine, and sugared musk. I really like the scent. I love Bath and Body Works, so it is what it is. This was a really nice, it was sweet and vibrant. From Garnier, this is their Whole Blends Smoothing Oil. It's coconut oil and cocoa butter. It smells amazing. My hair loves it. It moisturizes my hair without weighing it down or making it feel greasy. So I really like this. I would definitely buy it again. And they sell it, I want to say like at Walmart and Target. So it's still available, you guys. Like, it's always nice when something I like is still available. Finished a fun size body lotion from Bath and Body Works in Cactus Blossom. It is bright cactus petals blended with sun-kissed coconut and vanilla. Oh, it matches the, the hand soap, right? Nope, the hand soap was the cactus petals, coconut, and lemon. Oh, oh okay. Yep, 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 yep. All right, up oh, here goes the last two sheet masks. So I did four in April. Another one of the avocado sheet masks from Emoji Nation. I I work in order, so they were all together, and they were the ones dying at the same time. This one is from Kiss. Yeah, Kiss, the people who make nails. This is their aloe sheet mask it was moisturizing i got it at a kroger so i liked it i had no problems with any of my sheet masks all right i finished a crest gum detoxify this one is the deep clean toothpaste my preferred one is the gentle whitening let's see what else 
I finished an Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel. Um, this one was a little crunchy, the one I just finished, but I'm using a fresh one now and it's not terrible. It gives, you can feel it, you get the hold, but you don't feel it unless you touch the eyebrows. So I'm okay with that. This is a mucus relief DM I get from Dollar Tree. It does help when I, when it feels like I'm drowning because my sinuses are draining. I don't like that feeling at all. Let's see what else is in here. Okay, I finished a nail polish. This is from China Glaze. It's in Creative Fantasy. It, this one was better than the other two, the pink and the turquoise. I finished the turquoise last year because those both dried down really weird. This one, um, it didn't dry down weird. The layers weren't amazing because, you know, I do two coats. But I'm so glad to be done with this. I will never buy minis of China Glaze again. They will not get me in that trap. I don't know how you mess up the formula when it should be the same formula and colors going into the minis as went into the full size ones. Because they have a Sesame Street one with these really bright Sesame Street colors. But I will not fall for that hype. I will not. I finished the Glam Glow Super Toner Exfoliating Acid Solution. I enjoyed it. It had like a menthol-y um, situation happening in the end because then I would spray my essence on and you could feel the cooling of it. And I really liked that. I don't know that it was a brightening factor, which is what I'm looking for now in a toner. This is from Private Doctor, their Define Minus Serum. I enjoyed this. I wouldn't buy it, but I did enjoy this. Um, all right, some fragrance for the home. I finished a Wallflower from Bath & Body Works in Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit. It's okay. It is okay. It's, it wasn't long lasting, but it's fine. Um, I have some Yankee Candle Wax Melts. This one is in Black Coconut. This is a really nice one. I was really into their sand and beach collection. Because then I had pink sands. What's this, one? this one is Turquoise Sky. This one it was more musky. And then Bahama Breeze. Uh, I don't even know that they had a really great scent for Bahama Breeze. Okay, so I finished one of these Marc Jacobs highliners and the other one just got decluttered because it was very dry. I did not like this. I don't, I don't know if I was just had dry product or what, because I know people really like this, but Lori did not really like this at all. It was very, very dry. All right, and then I decluttered two eyeshadow primers did I declutter them both I know I decluttered this one because there's something about the Smashbox primers that my eyelids do not like this one I used it for a long time until I realized it was this causing me issues so no two Smashbox primers for the eye for me but I like their face primers so you know go figure I will definitely check my notes to see how I felt about, you know, if I decluttered both of them or if I finished one or whatever. Whatever, they're gone. So, I've been decluttering quite a bit of my eyeshadow primers. Um, three of my Wet n Wild. Two of them because they were just separating and then the other one. I had eye irritation, so I don't really know. But if you irritate my eyes, you got to go. You got to go. All right, you guys. So those were my empties for April 2020. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I would love to have you. And if you've already subscribed, 
thank you very much. I want you guys to be safe, be well, peace.